Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we had a long episode on my hands. I wasn't planning on it being that long, but I went ahead and just did it all in one episode. We crossed Mount Gagazet. This is pretty much the end of the mountain right here, or at least this part of the mountain, I should say. And it will culminate in a boss fight, so let's finish my spear gritting. Also, in the end of last episode, I said something to the effect of I was going to... What did I say I was going to do? Oh, I said I would probably raise some money to get that alchemy weapon from Owaka's brother. Also, we just got Kiraga. Nice. Um, and so I did. I actually, all I did really was I went back and I just sold like everything I know I wouldn't need. I, I literally just sold a bunch of stuff. Um, wait, where are we at with Kimari here? Okay, never mind. I'm like, I'm tripping. I'm like, where the fuck am I supposed to go with Kimari right now? Um, Waka doesn't have one. I guess I didn't really do that much off screen besides get enough money to buy that alchemy weapon. I don't think I did anything else. No, just walked back and forth. I didn't work on any more sphere grid stuff. I might have captured a couple new things. Or, you know, not new things, but more things. Um, yep, I think that's it. And I was watching HD Bailey's Let's Play again, and I realized, holy crap, he is way ahead of me at this point in terms of sphere grid. Uh, so I might have a little more trouble with this boss fight coming up than he did, but I'm going to use his similar strat and see if it helps me. Anyway, um, with Riku, the weapon I bought was called the Survivor. It has alchemy. Um, what it does is it doubles your item, uh, like how good items are. So like if you use a potion with Riku, the potion will heal double the amount. So that works with all items. So even Phoenix Downs are doubled, so therefore they heal all of your HP instead of half. Pretty damn useful. The other thing I want to do real quick is I keep, something I keep forgetting to do. I'm going to sort my weapons real quick. But um, I said I was going to customize I customized weapons for the capture weapons for Aran and Waka. But I didn't customize uh, Titus and Riku's yet. Titus, I was waiting for me to be able to get first strike. I got those return spheres a few episodes back. Now I can put first strike on there. It costs one return sphere. Going to do that. Now my capture weapon for Titus is just as useful as my first strike weapon. Therefore, I'll probably keep it equipped a lot of the time. Except for right now with the boss fight we're about to come up with. I have to do some equipment changes. The other thing we want to do is with Riku's weapon, which is way the fuck down here. The iron grip. We want to put death strike if I can. Yes, yes we can. Remember those 60 far plane wins I got from the monster arena? Well, this is what we want to use them for. I could have done this a while ago. I didn't. I kind of forgot. Riku could have been much more useful when it came to capturing on monsters, but I completely forgot to do that. Needless to say, there you go. And it's actually really nice because she can auto-kill things that are not immune to death. And let's see, I want to equip everybody with the highest strength they can get right now. Brotherhood is clearly the way to go for Titus. Um, let's see, Kamari doesn't matter. You want to make sure he's got good capture or strength. I think I'm just going to go with the switch hitter that has 5 and 3. Wait, what happened to it? What happened to my switch hitter that had 5 and 3? Did I really get rid of it? Whoops. I sold my fucking best strength thing. Whatever. I'm not even mad about it. I mean, I'm a little I'm a little salty, but I might be able to put something better. Let me go ahead and see what I can do with some weapons. I haven't really tried to customize these weapons much for a while. Can I put strength plus 10? Ugh, I'd rather not waste a skill sphere, though. Strength plus 3, maybe. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this on Aurens, because we're going to get better weapons for him anyways, and using three power spheres ain't shit. And I think I'm going to do the same for for uh, Waka's balls. Give me that switch hitter real quick. I'll go ahead and put strength plus three on here. I had one, but for some reason I dropped it. I don't know why. What's evading counter? And teleport spear? Yeah, I'd rather not waste my good spears on some of this stuff. But that's definitely nice. Um, I'm not going to use another for another first strike. If I could learn stone strike, I would do it. I don't have, petri have enough petrify grenades, though. All right, that's good enough, I suppose. Make sure your party is Titus, Yuna, and Riku for the beginning of this boss fight. It'll be very helpful. And I think everybody else is ready and ready to go. I'm going to make sure I save it, though. I'm not going to do all that stuff and not save it. Because then I'll have to do it all again save spot and here we go guys prepare yourselves for boss battle one of the more annoying boss battles in the game if you're not prepared which I 
Used to not be, but now I totally am. I got a strat all planned out for this asshole. Let's just find out who this asshole is, storyline-wise, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Love the peaceful music here in Mount Gagazet. And it's all about to be ruined. The peacefulness, I mean. Tra -la -la, la -la -la. Xanarkin is on the other side, you know? I do know. I know. <laughs> See? Told you I knew. Uni is gonna get the final A on, you know? I do know. I know. See? I uh, still haven't thought of anything. Eh, me neither. Me neither. Why is everything do? I'm thinking of the same thing tied as saying? We'll do something. We will. We just don't know enough yet. Until this is true. we do, we really can't help you. Yeah, until we get there, we don't know how it works. Let's go to Xanarchy. Then we don't know how to stop however we'll find whatever something happens. There. It'll all come together. I know it. You gotta have faith. Hey. Hey. Just now, you sounded like a leader, you know? Nah. Star of the Xanarkin Abes. Didn't anyone tell you? Aha! Aha! <laughs> Take a bow, Riku-san. What? No! 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 I thought we killed this asshole already. Riku, you run fucking ahead kidding me right now? You are not fighting him alone! Just go, go! I mean, the Guado guys did say Seymour was still giving orders, so I guess we should have known he wasn't dead. To die. But motherfucking A, he's still on our ass. Not if I can help it. Save some for Kimori. <laughs> Love that line. Save some for Kimori. Go Kimori. Lady Yuna, it is a pleasure. Yuna. Is it ascending so soon? Allow yeah. me to say something to the last Ronso before I leave. The last Ronso? What? <laughs> Yours was truly a gallant race. They threw themselves at me to bar my path. One after another. <laughs> what? No. Kimari. Uh-oh. You could end the suffering of this poor Ronso. I don't understand you. You're telling me he killed all the Ronsos? Allow Kimari to That's die. so fucked up. And release him from his pain. <laughs> Spira is a land of suffering and sorrow caught in a spiral of death. To destroy, to heal Spira, I will become sin. Yes. With your help. Come with me, Yuna. Once I have become the next sin, your father will be freed again. Ah, uh, uh, uh. uh, what do you know? Yeah, let's destroy this asshole. Pitiful mortal. Oh boy. See more butts, man. Your hope ends Fucking here. never dies, I swear. Well, you know what? Guarantee this time we're gonna kick his ass and say, See you later. Good lord, this is an epic ass fight. For a third fight with Seymour, he does look pretty epic. Alright, so. Crap. Alright, I'm not liking the beginning of this, but let's just start off. Like, I'm just not liking how we're looking party wise. I probably should have put first strike on. Um, so we're gonna kick this battle off with a little bit of. I think I'd rather silence him first. So I do have silence grenades, right? Okay, good. Do I also have poison grenades or poison, poison something? I should better have some poison something. Please have poison something. Poison thing. Okay, good. I have what I want. All right, good. Let's use a silence grenade first. This will silence his bitch ass. Silence is clear. Is the way you break this fight. If you silence him, this battle is automatically over. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast. Am I gonna cast haste? Do I care about haste in this one? I guess I do. Start off with haste. Get everybody going. Get everybody going a little bit faster. Now this is the ability you gotta watch out for: lance of atrophy. If he does that, he's gonna zombify one of your characters. And then the next thing he'll do is kill that character with 
with a, uh, I can't remember, I think he'll do full life on them, so it'll automatically take all their HP away because they're zombies. Um, there's also trigger commands in this battle. I will use them. Not right now. Um, what do I want to do here? Riku, Yuna has use, but I don't want Yuna to die. I'm going to go ahead and just use a holy water so she doesn't die. I do have holy waters, right? Wait, what? I didn't bring any holy waters? What is wrong with me? I got remedies, thank God. Why didn't I bring any holy waters? I feel dumb. Got all the other fucking items. I just haven't been buying items from anybody. Oh well. At least full life is a wasted turn for him. Alright. Now we can use that poison thing I was going to use on him. Now, this is a good strat because it'll automatically be doing damage to him the whole time. So he'll always be getting poisoned. You can use bio. You can use other things on him. But I recommend using using the use command because it's a uh, better percentage chance that you'll get your stuff to hit him. Anyway, let's get everybody else to turn now. Kimari, get in here and let him do his talking. Kimari's one of the guys that'll talk because he's pissed! All the you fucking Ronsos are dead. That's insane. The spirits of the Ronso will guide Kimari's spear. You tell that asshole, Kimari. Not that he needs strength in this battle, but he told him. Um, one thing I do want to mention about the Ronsos all being dead, which I actually forgot that was a thing. The Ronsos aren't all dead, asshole. Just all the ones that got in your way are dead. Because there's still plenty of Blitzball Ronsos. Plenty of Blitzball Ronsos, bitch. So don't you forget it. Alright, let's get everybody else's turn now. I think everybody I wanted to have a turn, or that can talk in this battle, is talked. So let's just make sure everybody gets a turn, and then we'll focus on doing damage. This battle's pretty much going to be a cakewalk now that I... Now that I've done what I've, or set up what I've got set up here. So I'm just going to do damage. Make sure everybody gets a turn. Lance of Atrophy on Kimari. That's fine. Kimari's going to take a, take a bench seat. Crap. I didn't, uh, I didn't put anybody fast in the party. I made it. Well, Waka's decently fast. Anyway, get Riku in here. And I will show you the power of her alchemy when she uses Phoenix Downs now. Check it. Phoenix Down on one character now. Heals them all the way, which is very nice. Alright, Riku's so fast she gets another turn. Let's get Lulu up in this bitch. Lulu, I don't think it matters what kind of magic we use on him, so let's just Firog on his ass. Yeah, when I was watching HD Bathing's Let's Play, he already got to the point where Lulu can cast spells twice in her one turn, and I'm like, wow, I, I can do that, but I'd have to grind a lot more. I have not been grinding or making sure I get overkills all the time like he did, so... Anyway, he's way fuck. He was out way, way fucking ahead of where I am on this sphere grid wise. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I was just trying to point out that I kind of am modeling the strategy after him, and I'm not going to be able to do as much damage as him. Or I shouldn't say kick. I should say I'm not going to be able to kick as much ass as him because of the way I have this set up. Why does Titus get three turns in a row, man? I'm not complaining, but I'm just surprised. Let me just use his, his overdrive. You know, you know what? I'll save it for the overkill. I'm gonna get overkill on this guy. Keep an eye on his HP. Cause he's using the Brotherhood and he's poison. Should be good on getting an overkill on him. Cross clean. What does this do? You gotta, you gotta look out for when Seymour's about to die. He'll start doing some crazy strong moves. You gotta be careful. All right, so she's zombied. I'm actually not worried about Lulu. I just want to get her out of here. Why is everybody so freaking slow, man? Can I get somebody else a turn? Seriously. Thank you, Kimari, for getting a turn. I just wanted somebody else to get a turn so I could actually heal. Fucking only person getting a damn turn is freaking wa uh, freaking Titus over here. What am I supposed to do about that? Oops. Forgot she was zombied. That's all right. All right, go ahead and use full life on somebody who ain't hurt. Dang, ain't going to bother me none, sir. On the positive side, we got Riku. She's hasted, and she can use Phoenix Downs that are auto full lives. I want Lulu to get a turn so I can get her out of here, though. Whatever. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I guess I'm just going to go ahead and use Arn again. Yeah. Put some damage in on him. At this point, I'm just going to start dealing damage. All right, auto attack mode is where you got to be a little bit worried. He's going to start doing some crazy strong stuff now. So make sure you're ready for it. Okay, he's not going to do it yet, I guess. In fact, we could probably kill him in this next little flurry. I'm a little worried I don't want to kill him yet. I am going to hit him once at least. Should I try to steal from him again? Should. 
see if we can get any more elixirs from him. I think I s oh, I didn't even steal from him yet. Now I think about it, Kimari used his talk command. He didn't actually steal. Never mind, that was worth it then. Um, Aaron, go ahead and hit get another hit in there. Lulu, let's get you out of here. Let's get Waka in this bitch. More HP, plus he's in there for the physical attack. Hit him with a physical. All right, now we're good. Okay, don't use your special tech, please. Okay, he's ready to annihilate. This is bad, right? Make sure he doesn't get another turn. Let's finish him. By doing... Motherfucking slice and dice. Here we go for the finisher. This should kill him, I hope. I hope this kills him. No, it should kill him. I'm hoping he gets overkill is what I'm worried about. Come on, overkill. Come on, overkill. Come on. I didn't even kill him? Okay, he just overkilled himself. Did you see that? He did. <laughs> oh, I see what happened there. That was hilarious. What happened was, Titus... I didn't even explain this. He had that Vorta body thing that he had in the last battle with Seymour. <laughs> and, I, and Titus hits all enemies with that, right? He killed the Morta body, Titus did. And then the Morta body sucked the rest of Seymour's life away. And got an overkill. Awesome. <laughs> That was about as most hilarious as it could possibly be. Anyway, if you want to break that fight like I did, just silence his ass. And poison is just a plus. You didn't need to poison him. Whew, that was hilarious. I can't even believe it ended that way. And for beating him, we get two level 4 key spheres. Amazing. I needed at least one of those, so I'm glad we got those. I need one of those for Lulu pretty soon here. He will become sin with my help. What do you mean? Lies. Forget them. If he becomes sin, Sir Jack will be saved. So what are you trying to say? We're leaving. You know something, tell me. Aaron? Tell me. Sins. Oh, that's right. She my didn't know this man. yet. I forgot. You hit forgot we haven't revealed that yet. Sin is my old man. My old man became sin. I don't know how or why he did it. I felt him inside. And when I did, I knew it was true. You felt your dad from the inside? Ew. My old man's spirit is suffering. Sorry. Even knowing that sin is your father. Still, you know I must. I know. Let's get him. I think my old man would want that. You'd fight your own father? Yeah, no problem there. <laughs> I'll whoop uh, his ass. About your old man. You sure this ain't some kind of bad toxin dream or something? Pretty sure, Waka. And Chapu. I, uh, I think I'll just pretend I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> I'm getting a little confused, yeah? Why, why'd all this have to happen? We'll learn when we arrive, soon. Arn's like, man, I could reveal it all now, but it'll all make more sense when it happens in the end, bro. All right, so we're done crossing Mount Gagazette, right? Also, on the way over here, there's a little chest hidden here on the left. It's the Saturn Crest. That is Kimari's crest for his his final weapon. Um, I do want to save it, but do I want to do? Some, man, we don't need to do sphere grid stuff right now. Let's just save it. Um, we got time for the cutscenes. This next area is just going to be on nothing but cutscenes, so let's just do it. Let's just do it to it with the cutscenes. Who blew it? I don't even really need to save it because it's literally just going to be cutscenes. So, time for Xanderkin, right? Am I right? God, I hope so. She must see Xanarkin right now. That's why she's saying, wow, right? What the fuck? That doesn't look like Xanarkin to me. That looks like a bunch of dead bodies in a wall. That's not cool. Where the fuck are we? Is this what Xanarkin looks like now? What the hell is that shit? Pillar of fucking what, goop? What are those? Good those question. Are faith. Oh, faith, you 
you say? Dead people? A I see dead people. Someone is using these faith. Someone is drawing energy from all of them. This many? Who wields power on this scale? And what could they be calling? Hey, you know something, don't you? Spill the beans! Look not to others for knowledge. This is your journey, too. Yumi might die, you know? No. Aaron's right. Huh? This is our... This is my story. I mean, Arn had to learn all this for the first time himself, too. Might as well let us learn it for ourselves. I mean, why spoil it, am I right? Well, let the story come to us. Don't let Arn spoil it now. Even though he knows what's about to happen and why Jack is sin and all the good stuff and why the summoner has to die and all that good stuff and all that good stuff. Anyway, what's happening right now? Oh. One of these. Is Titus dead? He looks like he could be sent. He's all flashy and stuff. You dead there, Titus? What you doing there, bro? Oh, look, it's Xanarkin. That's cool. What are we doing back in Xanarkin? I don't know. Hey. Eh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. What the fuck are we doing in Xanarkin? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we woke up in a dream. We can actually control Titus. Let's, uh, I don't really know what we're supposed to do here, honestly. Let's just look around. I don't really recall how we progress with this. I'm guessing head toward this door over here. Isn't this his house? I think this is his house. The only door on the fucking map, so. Well, there's no map, but the only door on the screen, whatever. Anyway, who's inside here? Let's hang out with them. Anybody home? Hello? Hola? Donde esta? Ven aquí? Oh, look who's sitting in the corner over there. You. You. Remember me? We met in Bavel. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah? But that wasn't the first time we met. I know I've seen you so much I've earlier in the game. For a long time. Yeah, a who long, the fuck are you? Long time. I, I feel, I feel like, like I know, I know you, you too. too. Where are we? <laughs> Silly, don't <laughs> recognize your own home. Dur, look at all the blitzball trophies. What's gotten into you, hey? Wake up! Wake up! Assuming Titus just fainted in front of them or something? Wait, Wait. This, this is a dream. dream. It was all a dream! Precisely. A dream? Uh -huh. Are, Are you, you crazy? crazy? You crazy? I don't have time, have time to be dreaming, dreaming now. now. You're wrong. It's, it's not, not that you're dreaming. dreaming. You are a dream. What? Huh? Wait, Wait a, a sec. sec. I am a dream? What the fuck does that even mean? I don't even know what that means, bro! Bro! What does that mean, bro? Bro! What do you mean I'm a dream? It feels all It all feels real to me. It was all a dream! Long ago, there was a war. Uh-huh. Yeah, with Machina, right? Yes, a war between Xanarkand and Bavel. Huh. Bavel's Machina assured their victory from the start. Spira had never seen such power. The summoners of Xanarkand didn't stand a chance. Xanarkand was doomed to oblivion. That's why we tried to save it, if only in a memory. What did you do? The remaining summoners and the townspeople that survived the war they all became faith, faith for the summoning. The summoning? You mean sin? No, I mean this place. A Xanarkand that never sleeps. What? The dreams of the faith 
summoned the memories of the city. They summoned all the buildings, all the people who lived there. The people? What? They're all dreams? Me? Too? Yes, you're a dream of the faith. You, your father, your mother, everyone, all dreams. And if the faith stopped dreaming, You know, this is all starting to make a little bit more sense to me since I know what happens at the end. I'm starting to put pieces together in my head remembering how this whole, what, like, how, this is explaining basically how Titus got where, or got to Spira. Well, it's not really explaining how this all works. If he's a dream, then how the fuck did he go to Spira? That's the confusing part still. But even so, at least the explanation of why Xanarkand and Spira exist, co the, the Xanarkand from a thousand years ago and the Spira now exist, no. co they coexist. That's basically what we're learning to dream. I... I like being here. We've been dreaming so long. We're tired. So? What's another thousand years? Would you and your father... Would you let us rest? Both you and your father have been touched by Sin. Sin, the one around whom all Spira, the Spiral, evolves. What are you saying? What are you saying exactly? You two are more than just dreams now. Wake up! Wake up, please! Just a little more, and maybe... Maybe you are the dream that will end our dreaming at last. So what it sounds like to me is if we stop all these faith from summoning the old Xanarkand, then Titus will disappear. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. Because the faith right? will stop dreaming and thus Titus will cease to exist oh, anymore. Phew. But hey, that's just what I gather so from that. About you. You okay? I completely forgot about I'm, that explanation even happening. I'm okay. So whoever pointed me in the direction Nothing. of I blacked out. the answers to I stuff. I was dreaming. <laughs> Hold on, let's you just listen to Rusty's dialogue first. And I woke up. Now, uh, uh, nothing like a good nap. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> nothing like a good nap. I'm learning about your existence. Weird. Anyway, alright. Um, let's move on, I guess. I thought we were at Xanarkand, but it's looking more and more like we're not actually there yet. Though we are seeing all these dead bodies in the wall. That's not creepy at all. Faith. Nice way to say a bunch of dead bodies in the wall. It really is. You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, to have Xanarkand. Otherwise it wouldn't exist. Yeah. Alright, so where the fuck are we at now? Apparently it's a place that still has random battles. And aren't these the... Yeah, these are just basuras. Cool. We can capture some more of these guys. Let's, uh, let's put our capture weapons back on. I didn't even think to do that. Um... Put the taming sword on. The taming sword is now just as good as my my uh, the weapon that lets me go first. So that's good, right? I already forgot the name of it. Sonic Steel or something. I don't remember. Um, we want the catcher. And he's got his turn. Use it. Basuda. Awesome. Catcher. Hua. All right. And then you need your what is it called? The Beastmaster. And I'm also gonna switch. Uh, Riku's weapon to the one to her catcher one so she can do some death strikes That's gonna be really cool. Actually. I'm kind of excited for that. I want to see her See if we can get some easy kills on some of these other monsters that are a little bit more annoying Let's try it out on this, these guys see if we can get an instant kill on these guys Iron grip. Let's bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out Capture these monsters and show them what they all about. Ah, oh, immune to death. Damn. Well, at least I checked Happy that I checked anyways I probably almost have 10 of these guys already now that I think about it. Because I captured quite a few of them back on the mountain. 
And yes, I'll just go ahead and say it now. We are not done crossing Gagazette. We're done crossing the outside of the mountain, but we have to go through the mountain to get to the other side where Xanarkand is. Thus, we'll call this the Gagazette Cave, because if I don't call it that, the game will for us. I mean, if you want proof, just check the menu. It's called the Gagazette Mountain Cave. So here we are, the Gagazette Mountain Cave. Has new monsters, um, and some of the old, based on the fact that we just fought an old one. And two more of the old ones, that's fine. Let's see if we can capture... This should give us 10, right? Like, after this battle, we should have 10, for sure. If I don't have 10 after this one, I'll be surprised. Because I know I captured quite a few of them back on the outside part of the mountain. So, capture? Nope, we're at the limit. Alright, cool. Um, that's fine. Let's get everybody some turns, though. I really do need to get some people some sphere levels. I really should do some off-screen grinding. I should. I really, really should. Maybe I will here in this cave, because like I said, we're going to fight some new monsters here anyways. So maybe I'll show those monsters, and then I'll fight off-screen to capture them, whilst also leveling up and stuff. Because I would love to get to a certain level. Or, I don't know, get to a certain point on the sphere grid, I guess. Not that we really need it at this point either. All it really was going to do was make us more overpowered than we already are. So I'm not, like, dead set on doing that at all. I'm just brainstorming out loud. Because, honestly, I don't need to be that much further ahead on the sphere grid. It's not going to, like, make it too much different than it already is. It's just going to make it a little bit faster and make things a little more easier than it already has been. I really haven't struggled with anything in this playthrough, so I'm not really concerned with it, to be perfectly honest. How can we get an overkill on this guy? Can we? I don't, even know. I don't know if we can get an overkill on those guys. Those guys might have too much HP. Or our strength just isn't high enough or whatever. Anyway, this episode's about to end. I'm just trying to get to the save point, which is right up here. Cool. Save point. Alright. In the next episode of Let's Play Hold On, let's do this real quick. <laughs> I'm going to do the Sphere Grid stuff that we're on because I just remembered we have stuff that... Just one level. Let's just do it now. See, like, Arn has a little side path over here. Level 3 sphere grid. I'm going to go that way. I want to get that done. We're trying to get Titus back here to this level 3 one. And we just got here, finally, several sphere levels later. And there we go. Now we'll be able to grab that strength sphere really easy. And then we can move on with him. I really want to get Kimari to those level 3 spells to make him a little more useful. I finally decided what I'm going to use my special sphere on, the extra one that I've been holding on to for a hell long. I finally have a fantastic idea for it, and I'm glad I have an extra, because I had two extras that actually H.C. Bailey did not have, because on his playthrough, he doesn't have two special spheres like I have, so I'm kind of glad I had those. It gave me an extra person to steal early on, i.e. Kimari, um, or not just Kimari, but Titus, and then... Uh, it also allowed me to have another one to use whatever I wanted to use it on, and I'm going to use it on an ability on Lulu's Sphere Grid, and I'm going to use it for somebody else, but I'll explain that when we get there. Alright, I think we're good. I already switched all my stuff to the catcher stuff, right? So we're going to be just fine through this place. Alright, in the next episode, we will travel through this cave a little bit. This cave's a little confusing. There are some treasures and whatnot here, but we will enjoy ourselves none nevertheless. So I will see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.